The information in this podcast is for educational purposes only. You should consult your doctor, specialist, or physical trainer for advice on your physical wellness goals before you plan to follow any of the suggestions or recommendations in this podcast. Hello. Hola. Marhaba. Welcome to the Astro About Wellness Podcast. Join me, Shazana Sunny. And the Astro Duo Asfar Azman And Azima Azman Your host from New York. New York Let's strive to educate, regenerate and elevate family institutions Through optimal productivity and wellness education One, one episode, episode at, at a time. time Are you ready? To listen to inspirational stories of trust, respect Acceptance, integrity, love, and social responsibility for multicultural families and special needs communities. Sit back and relax and be inspired by the awesome people that we highlight in the first segment of the podcast. Hello, may peace be upon you. You are listening to the monthly highlights of the first season of the podcast from episode 5 to episode 8 released in February 2021. In the last episode, we talked about respect and social responsibility as important family values to help build an inclusive community. Today, We'll focus on just one family value that has a significant impact on family institutions. Love. In this episode, we'll talk a little bit more about taking wellness walks in the snow. What do we call it, Adima? We call it snow therapy. Yeah, right. There's something quite therapeutic when you get your shoes buried in the snow and walk like... Like a big fluffy polar bears. We've even started our 60-day wellness walk challenge last week to show that we love each other enough to find quality time together. Taking a walk... Not just once or twice a week, but every day can potentially result in two incredible benefits. What is the first benefit? It can strengthen family bonding. What is the second benefit? It can be a motivating factor to help achieve our physical wellness goal. Especially because walking is a form of exercise. Oh, I got it. Let's listen to an outdoor audio recording of the recent family's road trip to Lake Placid after almost a three-hour drive. Take it away, Adima. Hello, this is Azima Azar from the Astro <laughs> Duo. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing, Bumi? We're playing snow. Time to make snowmen. Come, let's all make snowmen. You are building a snowman Why? on the frozen lake. Yeah, and this is this is this is used to be an Olympics. Nice. Ready? Um, you see, we are right here in the snow. It's so fun, especially um, doing this. Rapper with the King Jr. and it's it's snowy in here, right? Rapper with the King holiday. Yeah, it's holiday. So it's snowing here in US, in New York. Woohoo! Are you enjoying? Marvelous. Marvelous. Yeah, Must enjoy with chocolate. Shall I get you chocolate? Yeah, you see my dad. Yeah, chocolate. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. So as for how do you like this uh, place so far? It's good. Very beautiful scenery. You take a lot of photos? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. Oh, nice. <laughs> that's it. Our family trip to Lake Placid. Welcome back to the S Trio about wellness podcast. Have you started your physical wellness journey, such as taking wellness walks with your family? In the last episode, we talked about how to strengthen love and family bonding through regular wellness walks and the potential benefits that you can enjoy together. Hey, we promised our listeners that we will announce the first winner of a new Ashtawala Club membership giveaway, right? You are right, Azima. Are you ready? The first winner of our one-year Astro Velo Club VIP membership giveaway is Connie C from Sydney, Australia. Bravo, bravo! Congratulations! Connie's voice memo was the first entry we received for the January to March exclusive membership giveaway. She shared. Her personal story of how she coped with panic and anxiety during this global health pandemic. Let's sit back and relax and listen to her short story. Hello, Astrea Wello team and everyone. This is Connie from Sydney, Australia. Today, I just want to share with everyone how did I cope with panic and anxiety over the uncertainty of this global health pandemic. First of all, I just had to tell myself that this is a global health pandemic, so everybody is facing the same problem, not just myself. It is natural to feel anxious, and I start to look at issues that are within my control so I can work on them first. Issues that are beyond my control, I'll just let them go such as the uncertainty of when you will be back to normal again. It helps to do journaling, so I get a better perspective of things and organize my thoughts. It helped me with my emotions as well. I time myself for about five minutes to scribble any emotion or thought that is in my mind without worrying about spelling mistakes or grammar. Just keep writing. It helps to clear my mind. Pulling myself back and observe my own emotion or thought from a third-party perspective helps to not identify with it and I become aware and conscious of it whenever any thought pops up. Most of the time, it is our own ego trying to get us to think in a complicated and dramatic way. Like one of my favorite spiritual teachers, Eckhart Tolle, says, Worry pretends to be necessary but serves no purpose. We tend to worry about what is to happen in the future and forget about being in the present. Accepting the present moment is the key as it is the only reality we have now since it is happening now. Any thought about the future is just a thought and not a reality. The past is also not a reality anymore now as it might be a reality when it happened during that time. But now, it is not. Thank you. Did you learn something from the story? How about you, Alima? Oh yes, I love to listen to real life stories. There's always something for me to learn. Good girl! Hey, I think we have something to celebrate today too. Do you remember? Oh yeah, we are very excited to welcome Connie and her son Ethan as our volunteers. That's right. No words can describe how grateful we are to Connie and Ethan. They have informed us that they would love to help us with the production of the Astro About Wellness podcast as our volunteers. Do we need more volunteers? 
Of course, if you support our mission, have relevant skills such as marketing, copywriting, research or others, and would like to help us build an inclusive community, why not sign up to be a volunteer with Friends of Estruvelo Club? Yes, please visit www.estruvelo.com Stay tuned to the next episode to find out who the next winner is. And listen to more stories of trust, respect, acceptance, integrity, love, and social responsibility. Welcome back to the Ask Trio About Wellness podcast. Do you remember what we talked about last week? Hmm, let me think. Ah, I remember the voice memo by Connie, our first club membership giveaway winner. Excellent. Yes, Connie shared about the benefits of journaling to help her cope with anxiety during the health pandemic triggered by the coronavirus. Do you remember that Connie was my old classmate from Malima Primary School in Singapore? Of course! She was the one who called in to say hello at live cast of our podcast pre-launch party in January. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. First of all, congratulations. Really, congratulations on the, the launch. And um, yeah, Thank I'm so glad so to be here. Thank you for having me here. I think Susanna yesterday contacted me and he want, she wanted me to greet everybody in um, Mandarin and Japanese as well. So maybe first yes. of all, just yes. greet everybody. Happy New Year. So in Chinese, <laughs> yes, that's right. So in Chinese, is 大家好,祝大家2021新年快乐. <laughs> in Japanese, 皆様明けましておめでとうございます. That is in Japanese. Oh, that's so happy right. New Year. <laughs> Yeah, we were so, in Japan yeah. last year, actually. You know, so uh, it was kind oh, really? of fun. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. yeah so and back to what? Susanna's question. So I yeah. knew Susanna back in Singapore when we were studying at Malimau Primary School, and that was like, oh my god, that was ages ago, and that was like yeah. we knew each other when we were about maybe ten or eleven years old, and then we yeah. were so young and so enthusiastic about life. And I can I can hear Azima. Azima sounds very much like her mom when that when she was at yeah. that age. <laughs> oh my! And Susanna, yeah, and Susanna has always been a sunshine in our class. Like her positive vibe is just so contagious. So it kind of uh, it's just amazing. It's I can still remember how she looked like when she was young and always happy with a ponytail, running around, very, very happy. <laughs> so, <laughs> so during that time, it was, yeah, it was great. It was great studying in Malimau Primary School. I think Cezana would agree that we've got back. Life kind of miraculously brought us back together again recently. And mm-hmm. um, yeah, now in Sydney and she's in New York and we hope that we will have time, we have chance to meet up again after this and uh, yeah. I'm just so glad that my dear friend, you know, takes up this initiative to to launch such a wonderful podcast. I feel about wellness is such a wonderful platform. So let's continue to get together and share with everybody throughout the community from um, different, everybody from different backgrounds, different racial backgrounds, different um, family backgrounds. So I think it's really great. Yeah. So I'm definitely here to support from from Sydney. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Oh, she Shani. Thank you, Connie. Wow. Not only was it refreshing to hear her speak in three languages, it warms my heart to have a friend not of the same race, ethnic group or religion who is so sincere and ready to help her friend in need by stepping up to be a volunteer for this podcast. Today, we'll talk a little bit more about trust as an important universal value that is necessary to build a good relationship with another person. Do you know what trust means? Oh, you mean like, I trust my BFF Jules 
And she trusts me too? That's right, my clever princess. Trust is important in every relationship. It could be a family relationship, a friendship, a working relationship, building communities in a neighborhood, and also to build an inclusive online community like Astrovelo. Trust cannot be built overnight. It takes time to build trust. Sometimes it takes months. Other times it takes years. Here's an inspirational quote from the Stoic Emperor that Connie shared with us. Trust is built slowly. Trust is destroyed quickly. Trust can make complex things possible. The absence of trust can make simple things impossible. Trust powers relationships, businesses, nations. Trust is as precious as it is fragile. Okay, we promise our listeners that we announce the next winner of our membership giveaway, right? Yes! The second winner of our Astro Wella Club VIP membership giveaway is... Sister Zahia from Waterville, New York. Mashallah, mashallah. Congratulations. Zahia is an American citizen who lives with her husband in Waterville. She's originally from Algeria and is one of the amazing people we met here in New York. She's kind, caring, and knows how to handle special needs kids like Adima. In fact, she reminds me of my sister, Win. In Singapore. Two weeks ago, Sister Zahia invited us over to her house and we went for a wellness walk together in her neighborhood. Yeah, last week, she invited us over to her home again and we went for another wellness walk. This time, her husband Amar drove us to Ronsula Polytechnic Institute, RPI, one of the oldest colleges in New York located in Troy. We walked together at the stadium and then to the city of Troy. Zahia is pretty, slim and fit. She's health conscious and cares a lot about physical wellness. Do you know what's her secret for optimal productivity and wellness? I think so. Okay, now tell everyone, what's her first secret? She goes for walks with her husband every day for one to two hours. What's her second secret? She eats and cooks healthy meals. Yum, yummy! Plus, healthy desserts and beverages. Is there a third secret? Yes, indeed. Like many good Muslims we know, she strives to build good relationships with people and share knowledge that is beneficial to others. Now, here's a bonus for everyone. When I asked Zahia if she's willing to share recipes of the tea and cake she served us last week, she said, Yes! Woohoo, woohoo! To get the recipe for Sister Zahia's chocolate flaxseed walnut cake and learn how to make a simple, refreshing orangana tea, stay tuned to the next episode to find out more. Welcome back to the Ask Trio About Wellness Podcast. How are you? Apa kabar semua? Did you know that February 21st was Mother Language Day? At home, our family speaks both English and Malay language, also known as Bahasa Melayu. My late grandparents were originally from Indonesia. So I can speak a little bit of Bahasa Indonesia. I love to eat and cook Indonesian food as well. My late grandmothers and late mother, may God bless their souls, used to cook delicious, authentic Indonesian cuisine for our family. Yummy, yummy! As I love reading and researching educational content, I know that learning more than one language and culture can potentially promote intellectual and social wellness. 
I've been writing articles, stories, and manuscripts in English and Malay for several years now. Recently, I've just started my writer's blog. Last week, we had announced that Zahia was the second winner of our Astro Velo Club membership giveaway. Do you know that Sister Zahia speaks fluent Arabic and French? Oh yeah, I know that. Today, not only will Zahia share her delicious and healthy recipes with our listeners, she will also teach us some Arabic and French words. Wow, I love that. Zahia used to teach French at schools in Algeria. She is so passionate about teaching that she called her students her children. Let's get started. Ahlan wa sahlan. Welcome to the show. Sister Zahia, can you teach us some greetings in Arabic and French before you share your recipes with us? Okay, uh, I w- I'm going to tell you uh, good afternoon in Arabic and in French. How about that? Sure. In Arabic, they have many, many words to, to use. Masa al khair, masa in nur. But masa, masa means in the afternoon. We say masa, masa al khair. And the one you say for him or her, Masa al Khair, he will say for you, Masa al Khair, if they, they don't know anything else. But they can say Masa al, uh, masa al Nour, Masa al Yasmin. And in French, we say Bonsoir. Okay, let's, let's uh, proceed with the recipes. Yay! Yay! <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Susan, here. Uh, for my cake, I did last time, I put some olive oil. Uh, three spoons of uh, brown sugar, one small spoon of baking powder, two spoons of cacao, let me remember, and some uh, coconut, and uh, some uh, sesame. I forget to tell you that I used like two spoons of sesame inside, uh, and uh, four eggs, and then I mixed it all together. Then I put three spoons of uh, flour, and then I put them in the oven. When they were like cooked, ready, I took the uh, the cake from the the pan and I I put some chocolate on the top and then I just decorate it with the uh, walnut and the uh, coconut. Yeah, the last tea I did the last uh, time when you were home, I put some oregano, some water, uh, anise seeds, and then I let them for like five minutes to boil. Then we serve them. They are very good. And sometimes I use uh, fenugreek together, all together. It's very healthy uh, drink. Shukran. Have one. You're welcome. Yeah. In French we say merci. Merci means uh, thank you, and uh, de rien means welcome. <laughs> Shukran. Merci. See you next week. Next week, Sister Zahia will be back with a bonus recipe. That is awesome. And we'll also learn more Arabic and French words. So, don't miss this chance. Stay tuned to the next episode to find out more.
Thank you, Coach Zarina. We've now come to the end of the show today. If you have enjoyed our show, like us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at AstroWello, A S K T R I O W E L L O. Send us your feedback to Shazana at AstroWello dot com. Visit our website at AstroWello dot com. And subscribe to Astro About Wellness Podcast. Woohoo!